Hi everyone, welcome to It's OK. Today we're going to be unboxing the new Brother FS250 FE. I bought this from createandcraft.com and it cost me £367.10. Um, I've bought it over for interest free payments. Um, if you know Create and Craft, you know that they sell a lot of sewing machines. They're the biggest retailer of sewing machines in the UK. This is the upgrade. Um, probably quite a few of you have got the FS230, and this is the upgrade, um, which has got two extra fonts in it, I think. So I needed a new sewing machine anyway. I use this one all the time, this Janome. But with that, you can only do a straight stitch and it takes combs, whereas I want something where I can change the spools really quickly and easily. So that's why I decided to go for this one. It's got lots of stitches. Um, so let's get it open and have a look. I haven't got a lower table to show you, um, but the top is polystyrene and we've got the foot pedal and the power supply Ooh, and a little bag of goodies. I'll show you those in a minute. Feet and feet etc. Polystyrene off. This is probably the extension table. We'll have a look at that in a minute. Instruction manual. very strong but I managed to lift this box on the table easily it's lightweight quite lightweight ah, this is the hard cover lots of good packing materials right, do we have a handle we do everything out of the box. Just move back a little bit. You can see. Oh, it's, it's lovely and compact. Story from the throat. Can you see that opening? It's got lots of blue tape on it to keep things secure. Um, I'll take this off so I can have a look in the accessory compartment. Um, Hmm. 
and they definitely don't want anything to move <laughs> but that's a good thing I don't remember my um, old sewing machine having been so secure or maybe it was, I don't know, it was a long time ago I bought it there we go oh I love it so this is the feet that you get lovely compartment there with um, all a space for everything and it all clips in and then you get extra there's uh, one two three four five six there's six seven feet that come as standard with the machine and then they added some extras um, I really like the fact that it's got the spool cap, a little place for the spool cap on the top there and the spool pin because I don't know about you but um, oh, how do you clip that back in then? Hmm. I don't want to break it. I've unclipped it and it won't clip back in now so I'm not sure. I've seen I've seen them on I think you have to oh there we go you have to be quite now don't be now be pounding like I was this is the little flap with the extra fonts what I'll do is after I've finished unboxing it all taking all the pieces out I'll move the camera and show you parts of it close up so you can see Yes, I have to remove that. There's your um, your sleeve arm. I needed to remove that to take the tape off here. There's a little bit of paper protecting the plate, stitch plate. I think the standard J foot is actually on the machine at the moment. Uh, more tape. I'm not sure what this holding down. There we go. I don't want to be too rough with it in case I break it. Sorry. Sorry for the tape noises. Uh, we've got some more tape here on the stitch selection. That's another really good feature of this. All your stitches are there so you don't have to refer to a manual. Uh, the previous machine I had, you had to look at the manual for for stitches, so it drops down and clips into place, or you can have it up there and clip it into place. I think I'll have it like that because that's all the standard stitches there. Um, it's got a top loading bobbin, which is what I always look for in a machine. Much easier to use, and you can see when your bobbin is running low. So let's put that back on. Um, there we go. So I'm going to put the machine there and then I shall show you the feet. So let's just open this and see what we've got in here first. As I said, this will be the extension table sturdy box there. I'm not sure if I'll be using the extension table, it's whether it fits. I had to take, I've got a large extension table that goes on my Janome and I had to take that off to make space for this. Oh, I think it might do. I'll take that out of the box. So that's um, got a handy ruler on it and the feet are really easy to clip out and they're adjustable. So you can, if you've got a table that's not level or um, like me, I've got a cutting mat underneath. Maybe if you have a cutting mat next to you, you can adjust it so that you can have a level extension table. Just fold that up and put that back in. Just put it over here for now. I 
I'll just have a quick look in the accessories bag and see what we've got in inside. So let's move this over here. got an extra spool pin that's for um, if you want to use twin needles you need an extra spool pin to put the other th other thread on we've got a larger spool cap we've got a smaller spool cap we've got a screwdriver coin screwdriver three bobbins plastic bobbins not sure what this is some kind of tool it's got a little hole in it that could be for when you're changing the needle but I'm not 100% I'll have to have a look in the instructions and see what it is I've never seen one of those we've got your brush and the little point pokey tool in the end there doesn't look like you get a stitch unpicker which is quite unusual although I've got loads of them so um, two three four five six seven so you get 14 feet in total so you get the seven that come as standard and then these extra ones which I will show you shortly um, a pack of needles looks like two packs of needles yes two packs of needles uh, not sure what the difference is uh, again I'll have to have a look in the instructions and you get a twin needle which is really good I've actually never done twin needle sewing. I know this is a bias binding foot, but I will get all the feet together and come and sit closer and show you all the feet. Okay, so here's a bit closer up what you get. So you get quite a comprehensive operation manual. If you don't like reading, you can watch the um, videos on the CD, the warranty card, the quick reference guide, so that's a quick setup instructions, pictorial instructions, and then you get all the instructions for all that extra feet, so um, seven different instructions there for the extra feet that you get. I've just looked in the instruction manual and apparently this is an eyelet punch which I've never used before um, yep. um, and then with the, the feet that actually come with the machine there's the stitch unpicker I thought that was odd that that wasn't there because normally you get that in the bag but it's got its own little place in here so you've got the buttonhole foot the button sewing on foot I can show them a bit closer. So there's your button buttonhole foot. Uh, you put. Let's see if I can move it. I've used these before. There, in the back. You put your button in the back, and that sets the size of the buttonhole for here. It's clever how it works, actually. So you can do a really small button or quite a large button. The standard J foot is actually on the machine, which is this. Um, so that is a zigzag foot. It's also got a little button on the side that you can press if you're going over quite a few layers. So that's really handy. I'll put that back in its spot for now. Now this is the end foot, which is, I have to look myself because I've, I've never had so many feet. <laughs> um, that's the monogramming foot, so it's got an open toe, so for when you're doing the lettering, you can see easily what you're doing. I'm sorry if you can hear dishes being crashed about, my husband's cooking me dinner. So this is the eye foot, which is the zipper foot, which most of you have probably seen before. Uh, 
the G foot, which is overcasting foot. So it has a little, I don't know if you can see there, it has a little um, hook on it so you can, it helps to guide the, guide the thread over when you're overcasting and the uh, fabric together. Sorry, I'm not making a lot of sense. Um, the R foot, which is the blind stitch foot. So for blind, blind hemming is that? As I say, I've never had so many feet, so I've, I've never even seen that foot before. I didn't realize it had a little groove there. What haven't we looked at? So that's the, the button sewing on foot, the M foot. Don't know if I can get that back in there. I don't know if that's right. So that should be seven feet. Have I showed them all? I think so. Yeah. And then a stitch unpicker, which has got your little quick unpick. Sometimes they have a brush on the end as well, but this one's you get a separate brush with this one, so that's that's your brush. So there that's all on page one though of uh, what comes with the machine. So um, there's also can't see it number four the seam guide maybe it's not here I don't know oh I think these are just oh optional extras so they gave you that even though it's an optional extra um, there's also um, number three which is the quarter inch quilting foot I've actually got one of those anyway um, I don't know if I've got it to hand to show you basically it does a perfect quarter inch for when you're doing quilting but I often use a quarter inch foot for general sewing because it's a good you know you keep um, a standard seam all the time then um, you can also buy a quilting foot a walking foot which I've got a separate walking foot I can show you mine's a singer walking foot but it they're pretty standard um, that's what a walking foot looks like and it helps you to go through multiple layers it helps guide the fabric through when you're doing lots of layers um, these usually cost between 30 and 50 pound depending on where you're buying them from but I would say buy the best that you can don't buy cheap because there's lots of Chinese cheap ones on, on eBay and Amazon and things like that and they break really easily so it's, it's good to buy a quality one and there's my quarter inch foot to show you what one of those looks like it does a perfect quarter inch when you're sewing but that's only really for straight sewing as you can see the hole for the the needle is small so you can't do any decorative stitches with that um, I'll just put that there I'll just have a quick look and see what the needle packs were because there's two packs of needles so it says needle set uh, oh ballpoint so two different types of needles are just ordinary sewing needles and then ballpoint needles which is for using with stretch and jersey fabrics I think as I say I've not done dress making myself I just do home wares and um, thing you know things that are easy to do um, I haven't tried dress making but that's the plan on this channel to try some dress making so the extra feet that you get with it. So I know this is still available on Create and Craft. I don't know if it's on the special price. The original price is £799, which they do do it for sometimes, but um, they do it on special offer every so often. And I got it when it was on special offer. I think it's only been two weeks since they launched the sewing machine. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it's relatively new. So the first foot is a narrow hem foot. That's for doing very small hems and it's quite useful if you're sewing with fine fabrics um, like scarf material. Um, and that is this one. And it helps to fold the fabric over when you're sewing. The next foot you get is the adjustable bias binding foot which I did show you before. So you, you guide, you get your bias binding and you guide it through and that sews it down um, or round your quilts or 
I often use bias binding when I'm making bunting. It's quite useful for that. And you can sew that round and you'll get a nice straight stitch then because it guides it through and keeps, it keeps the stitch straight. The next one is your gathering foot, which is this one. You do have to, all the other feet, I think pretty much are drop, drop on, drop on, drop off. Oh, apart from this one, that's not, that's um, what you add to the side. Well, this one you add to the screw. So you have to take off the little holder that holds the feet on, put this on. This is a gathering foot and it creates gathers. <laughs> in um so you could have like a straight edge and then a gathered edge and it will sew them together and um it's very clever how it works it ruches the fabric up as you guide it through so that's quite good it's good that um brother have added these additional instructions so you can learn how to use so the adjustable zipper or piping foot let's see what it looks like that's this one so it's got this bit here so you can adjust it to how wide, how close or far away you want it from the item that you're sewing from the, if you're sewing a zip on, um, on a hoodie or something like that or if you're um, sewing piping on. So that's that one. As I said, if you buy this you get all the instructions. And then this is the non-stick foot, which is a Teflon foot, and that is useful. I don't know if you can you see it there. That is useful for um, sticky uh, sticky fabric. So if you're using oil cloth, it helps to move it because they often get stuck on the on the um, machine or um, pleather, leather, things like that. PVC. And the last foot is the five groove pin tuck foot, which I can't seem to find. There it is. There is this one as well, actually. Did I not mention this one? Yes, I've lost the instructions for that one. Hmm. Oh, it's a straight stitch foot. There we go. I missed it. This is a straight stitch foot. As you can see, the hole is very small there, so it's not for decorative stitches or zigzag. Um, not quite sure why that's on there. Very small instructions because you don't need a lot of instructions or that. It does what it says, basically. And the pin tuck foot is this little tiny foot, and it's got... Sorry, I'm not very good here got five grooves on it <clears throat> and that helps you to sew little pin tucks on um, or I think you can is it, you can use cord on it as well um, yeah you can you can sew cord into it as well as just a pin tuck a little pleat um, I'm sure there's many of you out there that are absolutely laughing at my <laughs> instructions but this isn't meant for advanced sewers this is meant for people beginning their sewing journey and they want to know how to set up a sewing machine or have a look at a new one so yeah that's it for now um my next video hopefully is going to be setting up the sewing machine and i'll probably show a little bit of what the feet can do as well but if you let me let me know in the comments below what you'd like to see on this channel and then i'll have a few ideas and then i can make videos of what you want to see so um, I'll see you again soon take care and remember to like and subscribe please thank you